with John, Jeremy, Andy, John, many others. The toll-free number to join us is 1-800-259-9231. This is an abbreviated, only one-hour interview with Alan. That's normally a full interview, but Alan's got so much to say, and I've got so much to add. We're going to get him back on for a couple hours early in January. In fact, let's make sure we set that up with him and his calendar before he leaves us. He is a big part of Fall of the Republic the presidency of Barack H. Obama detailing the global government banking slash carbon tax takeover. This film couldn't have come out at a better time. It is exploding like no film I've ever produced. You can get a free Obama as the Joker t-shirt or a free Don't, Don't Tread on Me t-shirt with it at InfoWars.com until Christmas. So be sure and order today at InfoWars.com, and your purchase makes this radio show possible. We've got more discounts, more combos, more free videos than we've ever offered at InfoWars.com and five months free right now at PrisonPlanet.tv. So check that out. Going to Alan Watt of CuttingTheMatrix.com. Uh, first off, I haven't talked to you since we got you a copy of it when the guys came to interview you a few months ago in Canada. Uh, what's your take on Fall of the Republic, Alan? It's having a great impact. It's all over the planet now. And I get emails uh, from so many people saying they've seen it. And it's, uh, it's, really, it's, it's hitting them between the eyes, some of them, which is a darn good thing because we've no time to, to lose here in catching up. But we've got to be shocked into reality, and I think it helps to do that. What do you think of the film yourself? I mean, I want your honest review. Oh, it's well done. It's well done. I mean, uh, even the camera guys, I, when they were here doing the, 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 the take, um, they knew their stuff as well. Everything was, was uh, well on. And uh, I don't know who did the editing and so on, but they certainly made a good job of, of patching all the different pieces together to make it flow and, and keep the topics flowing uh, so that people who didn't know too much could get an understanding and, and take them right through it in a condensed form, uh, and that's what we have to do today because we cannot give a complete lifetime education to people uh, in a, a fast move except by condensing it for them and giving them important parts and really stressing how it's done and where it is going if they don't participate in their own future. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're showing people, here's the globalist agenda, here's their own documents, here's their own statements. Do you want this for yourself and your future? Do you want to be a slave who is eventually euthanized? Uh, the, the decision is up to you. One of the few criticisms I've gotten for Fall of the Republic is, well, I already knew a lot of this, or this has a lot of basics in it. Yes, that's the whole point of the Obama deception in Fall of the Republic, is to be slickly done, well-produced, highest-level graphics, and it has a lot of new information as well. But, yes, it gives people the basics, because we're trying to reach people who have no idea of what's going on. And, and plus, when you get people together who know with people who don't know, uh, rather than ju just go over stuff through books on, and weekly meetings, if you've all shared the same video, you can then discuss it yourself and chip in. It, it's a good way to catch up quickly to speak as to what's happening. You could have something in common and something you've all either seen or read in common, uh, and that's how it's done today. We don't have time to give a history for the last hundred odd years. We don't have time. So you have to condense it, put in the important parts so the beginners uh, can understand and bring them up to speed so they can then converse with you uh, with the, the knowledge that you're sharing. Uh, and then, and then once they it. have a basic blueprint of just part of the system, it's too complex to give somebody the full view. I mean, I'm still learning every day. It's so big and complex, yeah. and they've had so many specials working for so long on different parts of this matrix system. But once people have a basic snapshot, a basic crash course in brain surgery, then they can start picking up the other rabbit trails and larger gestalts for themselves as their palate develops. That's correct. You understand that we're up against organization. Organization has been working steadily for well over 100 years with non-governmental organizations who are trained uh, in a school-type format, uh, gradually updated with their vision of the future. As I say, they're organized, they're funded, uh, and some of them are full-time employees, in fact, to get salaries from the big foundations and pension funds. That's what we're up against, massive organization. We have to do it with what we, we, we have, and uh, we have to do it very quickly. Good job, Honestly. Alan. Stay there. Big Brother. Mainstream Media. 
government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. By the way, I was just now plugging Fall of the Republic, which really is my best film. Best produced, most information, most timely, highest quality. And Weldon Henson, uh, the head of our shipping department, just explained to me, UPS can normally ship anywhere in the U.S. in four days. They say six working days out from Christmas. So tomorrow, orders that get in today and tomorrow are guaranteed by UPS anywhere in the United States before Christmas. Now, most places it's two or three days. But that's how we ship UPS. If people want regular mail, you can always order that way too. But we found UPS's. I mean, the U.S. mail is really bad. I've seen a bunch of reports about mail offices just throw your mail away now. They just don't even care. Pension checks, toys. It's the government. And if you don't like it, a SWAT team will drop by. I mean, you know, they got the SWAT teams. They got your tax money. That's I don't want to bash the whole post office. There's some great people at the post office. I'm going to shut up now and go back to Alan Watt. Alan Watt, enough with Christmas and fall of the Republic. Um, we have total mind control being established in the country. We have all over the United States, Europe, the Western world, children on record writing reports on their parents. We confirm that the Pertinalis Power Authority in Texas, Central Texas, is making the kids fill out dossiers on their parents through the public schools, or they get a zero on their grade. Uh, I have a report here of where a boy drew an image of Jesus and was kicked out of school and is having a psychological assessment done. In fact, showprisonplanet.tv viewers an image of this. I mean, we really are living in a secret police-style tyranny. The RAND Corporation is already announcing that all your local police departments are openly federalized. Regular Army garrisons will be stationed as domestic police, as a rapid reaction force uh, to uh, take over local police departments. That's in... This Rand Corporation report. So much is going on. Go over that, Alan Watt, and then your take on what's happening at Copenhagen. Uh, you know, is their program really in deep trouble? Well, we find that the U.S. is the last country to be basically completely socialized. This is the socialist system. It's already completely through Europe, especially Britain. Britain's an incredible country right now where the, back in the 80s, in fact, they federalized. At least they put um, a chief police uh, association in charge of all of the police across Britain. And supposedly they were going to use martial law back in the 80s if Britain had to be sacrificed for first nuclear strikes in order for the U.S. to survive. So it's never got out of that mode. It made it easier for the federalized uh, government to take over. And this is a socialized system. Uh, I tell people so often, don't get confused with fascism, communism, socialism. It's all the same thing, you see. And uh, it, that's what's being used today. A long time ago, it was decided by the big powers and the economists and those who ruled the banking system of the world, along with the politicians and the Fabian Society, that they'd have to bring in a socialist system and train the public, train them gradually uh, to uh, allow uh, the experts at top simply handle all the big problems while we were taught to play at the bottom. That's been very successful since mainly from the 60s onwards. And so we're out of the loop. Most folk are quite content. That's right. They made it a moral a moral right. Like it's cool that men and women don't care and aren't involved. Yes. It's uncool to be involved. It's fun to be an idiot. That's correct. And while we're all being idiots and playing and they threw credit cards at everyone, uh, the, the, um, and they gave us a, a youth culture, a perpetual youth culture, where anyone over a certain age is just non-existent. Um, they did not want older, wiser people coming into the game and teaching people what was really going on by their knowledge and history, etc. That's been very, very successful. Yeah, you don't revere hard. your elders. They're just people to be exterminated. And now Time and Newsweek have articles about, let's just murder all the old people. It's so liberal. That's correct. And that, that is going coming down. Uh, they started off in Holland with euthanasia. 
Britain has just passed laws on it too. Uh, the U.S. I think that their first main one uh, this year, in fact, earlier this year, uh, openly. Uh, and so that's the agenda. This is all written again, going back to the days of H.G. Wells and the Utopians, the Fabians, and also population control is a ramp up abortion and sterilization on one end, uh, which which is coming down by the way as part of the Copenhagen Treaty. Um, then the ramp up the other side too. Obama's already made the, the, the communist statement, and that's what it is, folks. You're under that system right now. If you don't know it, look at all the people who are in his staff right now. They're all, but some many of them are card carrying communists. 